students, it's Teacher Darcy, and welcome to part six of six in our feelings adventure. Right now, I am feeling very silly, and another word for silly is wacky. I'm going to read Wacky Wednesday to you. The title of this book is Wacky Wednesday. The author, the person who wrote the book, is Dr. Seuss. Illustrated, he did the pictures, George Booth. It all began with that one shoe on the wall. A shoe on a wall shouldn't be there at all. Then I looked up and I said, oh man, and that's how Wacky Wednesday began. I looked out the window and I said, gee, more things were wacky and I saw three. I went down the hall and I said, hey, three more things were wacky today. Have you seen anything wacky? In the bathroom more, in the bathroom four. I began to dress. Then I said, wow, four more things were wacky now. I looked in the kitchen. I said, by cracky, five more things are very wacky. I was late for school. I started along and I saw that six more things were wrong. And then seven more? And the Sutherland sisters, they looked wacky too. They said, nothing is wacky around here, but you. But look, I yelled, eight things were wrong here at school. There is nothing wrong, they said. Don't be a fool. I ran into school. I yelled at Miss Bass. Look, nine things are wacky right here in our class. Nothing is wacky here in my class. Get out. You're the wacky one. Out, said Miss Bass. I went out the school door. Things were worse than before. I couldn't believe it. Ten wacky things more. Then I counted 11. Then 12 worse things, I got scared and I ran. I ran and knocked over Patrolman McGann. I'm sorry, Patrolman. That's all I could say. Don't be sorry, he said. It's that kind of day. But be glad Wacky Wednesday will soon go away. Only 20 things more will be wacky, he said. Just find them and then you can go back to bed. Wacky Wednesday was gone, then I counted them all, and I even got rid of the shoe on the wall. That's one of my favorite stories. Be safe, be healthy, and remember, you're so very loved.